Good morning, everyone. It's your girl, Renita here. Hi, I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Um, I wanted to share something with you guys before we get into the video because I have a lot of interesting things that I can't wait to share with you in my garden. Um, but first and foremost, I want to share 1 Peter with you, um, chapter 4, verse 8. And it reads, above all, love each other deeply because love covers a multitude of sin. Okay, I'm going to read that one again for you. Above all, love each other deeply because love covers a multitude of sin. And that is 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 8. Okay, guys, I just wanted to share that with you. Um, but the next thing I want to share with you guys is I shared with you in a previous video that I had got um, onions from Gurney's that were on the way. They're here, guys. So these are um, the yellow, uh, yellow onions yellow onion sets from Gurney's. I don't know. I was just expecting the ones like you get from the big box stores that just like the little dried up bundle, you know. But these are actually little onions. So I've checked out a few videos um, from some other YouTubers. Um, so I think I'm ready. I have my black cow ready. You guys know I have the area in the large raised bed ready to go. Um, so I'm going to be planting those with you today. Um, I also think I want to put the blueberry in the ground as well. And yeah, so I know I want to do the onions and the blueberries today. And then I also want to show you guys the um, Transylvanian soft neck garlic that I planted in the small raised bed. It is sprouted and I wanna share that with you as well. Um, so yeah, guys. Let's go and get these onions in the ground, okay? Okay, everyone, so we've got the blueberry bush in the ground. So I don't have a name for her yet, but we'll see what, what I come up with. If you guys can think of a name, put it down in the comments. So I'm gonna get this all watered in, and then I want to show you guys what I'm going to do um, with the strawberry starts that I had in the hanging basket. We're going to be planting them in this vertical planter. All right, guys, so stick around and I'll be back to show you what I do with that. All right, everyone, so you'll see I got the strawberries all planted in there. And then I also took some of these dwarf marigolds and planted them in the bottom uh, layers of the tiers um, just for now, just to attract some pollinators. Um, for the strawberries and then I used the um, uh, little hanging basket um, that I had for those strawberries and I had those um, I think it's called plethos um, that someone sent me from a wedding and it had those little orbies that it was sitting in those little balls uh, it was just sitting in the water and those um, it was a cute little wedding gift idea so I'm just going to put them in that raised basket and let them um, kind of take off on the gazebo um, but so yeah, 
So we got the strawberries and some dwarf marigolds in the vertical planter. And now we're gonna move on to the passion fruit. All right, guys, come on. All right, everyone. So as you can see, I've got the passion fruit in the ground right there. I've got to get it all watered in. Um, and I also, as you also saw, use the black cow to backfill. And I'm going to let her start to grow up this trellis right here. Um, yeah, so we're gonna see how that goes. So we're gonna get that all watered in, guys. All right? All right, everyone. Thank you for sticking around to the end of my video. As you can see, I had a lot that I wanted to share with you guys today. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys could hear clearly. A lot of the video is gonna be fast forward, you know, with maybe some voiceover music. Uh, we have some people here helping to trim the trees from the hurricane. Um, so yeah, at times it did get a little bit loud um but yeah i just i'm so happy that i was able to share all of that with everyone um i hope you guys had a great saturday um, mine didn't start out as planned but i got out here in my garden and made the best of it um and i got a lot done so i'm really happy with that um i'll put a couple pictures at the end to show you guys the end result and if you stuck around to the end of the video hashtag love and let me know that you love me all right, guys, so I will see you all in the next video, and I'll get you all out in these YouTube streets. Bye.